Lights, camera, action. We're going to the back right now. Wow. <gasps> this is exclusive access to the back. Aloha, I'm Sean Kalipony, and we're going on an ultimate seafood tour. That's a lot of seafood in this highlight reel. That's the awesome thing about vlogging. You get to meet great people, you get to meet generations, and hey, it's not just about the food, it's about the people too. And since I'm allergic to some seafood, my amazing, beautiful, down-to-earth wife is joining us. Are you ready to go on this food tour? I need my hair up for this. Let's go. Let's go, that's my line. You're supposed to ask me for permission first. Of that. I'm not sharing this Ono food. And don't feel obligated to buy our merchandise. Just know that we'll like you more if you did. Leave our friends alone, please. We're here at Yi Sing Cafe. And they have amazing Singaporean and Malaysian food. We've eaten at Sigma Te, and they're the same owners, and the food was great over there. So we know the food's gonna be really good over here too. Let's go check it out. I've eaten here before, they have some amazing seafood and they have this Hong Kong milk bear tea. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name correctly. Yi Sing Cafe. Sue, good seeing you, good seeing you. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I have to say it correctly, the name of this place. Okay. Yi Sing, Yi Sing, yeah. Yi Sing. Yi Sing Cafe. And this is Sue, the Hi. owner here. Hello. She brings this place alone in spirit with all the locals over here through her food and how the way she treats our guests. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready. Sue is ready. The owner and... No, no, but the question is... Is the crab ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll film you do that. Because yeah. I'm going to feel sorry for the crab. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The workers here do this for you usually. Because this is actually harder than it looks. Wow, look at this crab. And it is moving. Oh, there it is. Look at this beauty. Ah, uh, yeah, there it goes. Wow. So cool. So we're going to the back right now. This is exclusive access to the back, and this is quite exciting, you guys. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Our dining experience is starting already now because we are getting a show right in front of our eyes. Some of the inner parts are still moving. I think that's the heart or I don't know what that is. Wow. Now to the rest of the body parts. Wow, and it's so smooth and fast too. The crab have been washed now to make sure everything is nice and clean. And the chef has moved on to the batter. Wow, look at that. I have a great appreciation for how the way food is made, the craft, the artsmanship, and that's what it is over here. That's what we get to see going in the back right now. All parts of the crab is now being fried. And the next step is to add the fried crabs to this big pan that's filled with creamy curry sauce. Look how it's all melting together. And I can already tell that that curry is a bit creamy and it looks thick and it smells good. Cooked to perfection, 
and then blended into a smooth, dreamy texture. That looks so good. That even looks better. <laughs> And that's how the famous curry crab is being prepared here at Yi Sing. Let's see if this crab is just gonna blow me away because this looks amazing. It smells amazing. What a massive plate and look at all the sauce. We're gonna have some of these dishes first so you guys can stick around for the curry crab because we're not gonna eat the main dish. We gotta hype it up first to eat the other meals. Then we'll go to this. Make sure you guys stick around, okay? And we're gonna start with the Thai style pork cheeks coming in at $14.95. This is only an appetizer, but look at all this meat. Look at this, it looks caramelized, fatty, tasty, and we can't wait to try some. Let's go. Mm. The flavor on the skin is so delicious. Wow. Juicy, squishy, but a little bit tender with that sweet taste with the fatty part and the sauce is delicious it's sweet with a little bit of spice it's not too spicy and tangy like flavors of tamarind this is a lot of quality a big quantity for a very good price of 14.95 and this is a way to kickstart an amazing feast now we have the beef omelet on rice the last time i was here i had the tonkatsu omelet on rice and that was very good and I want to see how this tastes. This looks promising, and Sigma Pei and Yi Zing Cafe have never done me wrong. Let's dive in. Ooh. Make sure to grab some meat here. All delicious looking. Ready, go. Oh. What sauce is that on top of it? <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. That's what really separates it from a lot of the other places because it's already very good, but the sauce makes it that much gooder. We're gonna eat the last of the beef omelet with rice with the vegetables. It is the fried green beans with minced meat and sambal shrimp paste. That looks really, really good. Ooh, let's eat. Maybe the first time in my life I ever enjoyed vegetables. The seasoning is so special. The vegetables just made this beef omelet on rice into a party. Next up is chicken wings like you've never seen before. I come in with this salted egg yolk chicken wings. We have the red strings on top, which is the chili. And just the presentation of the food is just different from any other place. This must be chicken wings on another level. And look how big the pieces are. And it's asking to be eaten right now. Mm. Oh wow, the taste is really good. I really enjoyed the texture on the outside, the crispiness, the friedness, and the tenderness with the chicken inside. And just with the egg yolk batter that's surrounding it, this puts a very different twist towards it that works really well together. Wow, this is a very, very dangerous chicken wing. It's, it's too good, too tasty, too addictive. Remember earlier I mentioned their Q Signature teddy bear drinks? And it takes around 10 to 15 minutes for them to melt before we can drink them. I got the bear to sink in right now, so I had to drink a little bit off the top, have the bear sink in, now I have a proper way of drinking it. This is refreshing. Quite a bit of lemons in here. They do a good combination of having this sweet, light, and refreshing. Now, let's eat some seafood. This is their signature Hong Kong style garlic fried prawns. These are not your regular shrimps, okay? These are prawns, and they're bigger. The moment they brought this out, this was the one that really caught my nose. It smells so amazing. There's so much stir-fried garlic on them, and I am ready to dig in. It's actually spicier than I thought. It's actually spicy, wait. It tastes like garlic overload. Extremely, extremely satisfying if you're a garlic lover like me. 
I would say this is one of the best combinations I've ever had. The prawns are huge and the white meat is so delicious. It's perfectly cooked. The flavors are out of this world and I just love this so much with the shells on and without the shells. That was a lot of food, but we still have the main event left. And now Nee's gonna divulge into it. And what is that? Oh my God, it is the curry crab. I've been waiting all along for this dish. Let's see if this crab is just gonna blow me away because this looks amazing. It smells amazing. I love seafood and this is the moment to live for. That's to eat a big curry crab. Let's grab a big piece right here. Oh, and it's so soaked into the curry sauce. Let's have the first bite together. Mm. That is a lot of crab meat and it is super soft. It just melts right into my mouth along with the full flavor of curry. It is cooked perfectly. Crab meat taking to a whole nother level. Oh, I'm gonna remember this dish years from now. This is the reason why I live. Mm. I want to swim this into the sauce because this is a winner sauce. It is just a tiny bit spicy. I am enjoying myself. It is way too satisfying. And I can continue on and on. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Uh, oh, no, thank you. We appreciate you guys watching. Let's open the head right here. Oh, man. And we saw in the back how they fried this. The crab head is not my favorite part. But I like it. It's fried, it looks good, and I think we should try it together. Oh! Oh! Oh, really a strong taste of the ocean. Quite a distinct taste. Maybe not for everyone, but wow, so fresh and crazy, crazy experience. They brought the ocean to the table. We highly recommend you guys to come and eat here. And when you do come and eat here, please tell them that the Hawaiian Traveler sent you. With that being said, we'll see you at the next place. All right, see you guys. Yeah, nice to see you guys. <laughs> Whew. I just want to say a big mahalo to Sue and her husband. One thing I can say is that they really treat you like Ohana. We wish them nothing but good things for many years to come. And this won't be the last time we're here. All right, we'll see you guys in the next place. We are here at the Crawfish and Crab Shack located in Kapolei and we were told that they have really good seafood. One, I didn't see it. The sign says it right there. So let's see what they're all about. Let's go. Cool. Hello, how's it going? How are you? I'm digging the vibes already, the local vibes, they got all the screens, TVs, sports. I was told that it's a happening area where there's parties, people like to chill, eat good foods. Who's that handsome guy up there? Man, that guy is handsome. I am digging the vibes here. It's around 3 p.m. so it's a little slow but I heard it picks up a whole lot later. Happy hours is 1 to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. Check that out. This means business. It's gonna get really messy today. I came here ready and I came here with a really big appetite. Where to start? Where to start? This is one of life's hardest decisions. I'll be assertive and start with the calamari. It doesn't look too impressive, but it smells really, really good. We want to see how it tastes. Go! Oh. Man, that texture is delicious. The batter is very thin, 
not too much of it, so you taste more of the calamari. The sauce tastes like mustard, tomato, and chili. It tasted really good, it smelled really good, and highly recommend it. Look what we just got right now. <laughs> They're not messing around here. That is very precious, so we cannot drop that. This is the pupu lobster. This lobster right here is one of the best smelling appetizers I've ever got. It is just drenched in garlic and butter. And let's have a little bit of lemon here. Oh man, we, we gotta try this. Let's do it together. I'm gonna go for a bigger piece. See, I saved my big appetite today for this. Mm, that is so great. I almost want to do a dance right now. <laughs> like a, a small dance you know because I think the vibes are cool for that in here you know just do a dance to the to the right and to the left and I don't have my moves on but wow it makes you want to have some moves eating this I feel like there's a big party of lobster garlic butter in my mouth you can have it all in one bite I just love everything about it it's cooked perfectly it smells so good but the, it tastes even better now, let's have some poke. Poke is thick, it's fresh, and all the sauces are saturated with the rice too. It's like a party poke bowl to me, and it's definitely good to eat for two. I love the sauces. It's like mayo with, with a little bit of spice. So I actually understand that they are trying to open like a whole poke bar. Another Hawaiian dish is this famous pupu steak with onions and poi. This steak looks like it's glowing. It's fatty, it's juicy, and it looks like it belongs right in my mouth. Ready, go! Mm. This is soft and just right. Yeah, let's dip this into the poi. Really Hawaiian style. You ready? Oh yeah. Mm. 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 Even though I'm not the biggest fan of tasting poi, I know what really good fresh poi is, and this is what they have here, and it goes really well with the pupu steak. And I want to try to dip it with the sauce over here. Oh yeah. Mm. The sauce is more salty. It takes a bit away from the, the sweetness. sweetness. We have three different fries right here. We have the garlic fries, which looks really garlicky by the way. The sweet potato fries and the Cajun fries. They have like big pieces of fresh garlic in here. Oh man. Oh, man. Mm, mm. It's like fries on steroids. It's a whole nother level. Good thing I'm standing up for this meal. That would have took me right out of my seat this way. I still can't get off the garlic because garlic is still my favorite. Yeah, the garlic was my favorite too. I mean, the sweet potato fries are good. It's light, it's sweet. But when it comes to the Cajun fries, that's pretty darn special. If you like spice, if you like lime, if you like that Mexican style with your fries, this is where it's at. This is the Kalua pork quesadillas. Kalua pork is a Hawaiian dish and the quesadillas is a Mexican style. You ready? Let's do it. That's awesome. To have this in a quesadilla form, that is a winner. I mean, to have it with the cheese and for me to want to dip it with the butter ranch. And it makes me think that if I was you watching this, I would want to be me right now. This is a winner with the Kalua pork. They got us some more food and I am so blown away that I thought this was a seafood place. They're not only specialized in seafood, I mean look at this, this is Korean chicken. And I think they're having us up because we haven't had the main event yet. Is that their number one seller which is their seafood combo number one. Just stick around and we'll get there shortly. Look at the density and texture of this chicken. All the sesame seed looks oily, looks fresh and let's dive in. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. With the with the skin texture, with the seasoning, that was really good. As far as the chicken, it tastes like any other chicken I've eaten. There's nothing that stands out with the chicken, to be honest. I think this would go really well with your beer. <sighs> Next up is salt and pepper shrimp, but there's so much more than just salt and pepper. Let's have a try. It's a good size and it's a good amount of seasoning. Very salty, peppery, buttery, garlicky. There are also big pieces of ginger. Just really, really good shrimp. 
check this out, the sauteed mahi-mahi. And we're gonna dive right in. It's so good, it's so soft. It has a lemony taste. Your teeth just cuts right through the mahi-mahi. And the toppings just make it all that much better. I thought I was already full, but hey, I'll make some extra space for this. This is really good. And we're gonna have some of the mushrooms right over here. And it is drenched in sauce and cheese. I've never been that excited to eat mushrooms, but I'm excited to eat this. Sauté mahi-mahi, the mushrooms, goes well together. Now it just adds for a capital I with indulgence, or indulgence with a capital I. So we finally made it to the main event. Man, there's so many people in here. The combo number one is the best seller with snow crab, shrimp, clams, crawfish. Of all the seafood in this bowl, this is one of the best snow crabs on the island. Oh yeah, look at the snow crab. And the difference between a snow crab and a king's crab is that the snow crab have longer legs. I want to suck all the juices out of the snow crab. That was a lot of juices and a lot of garlic. The best part is the meat. Let's get to that. Ooh, that's a lot of snow crab legs. Oh man, this is huge. That is beautiful. I never had snow crab drenched in so much butter and garlic ever. You can choose between many different sauces. Now we have some deep fried ice cream for dessert. And this looks so good. This almost looks illegal. Without further ado, let's eat. The carnival is right here. This is some carnival, really good, delicious, indulging treat right here. The batter is crispy, oily, and the ice cream just puts all that coldness in your mouth. I'm gonna eat the rest of this before it melts. I'll see you guys in the next place. We are here at the seafood cartel. Right here on the freeway, you have an authentic Mexican place with great seafood. The seafood cartel specializes in authentic ceviche style. Inside, we recognized Amanda from Instagram and found out that she's the owner of this cool spot. So today you guys are gonna try the cocktail campechano and the tostado de azul. The cocktail is filled with different styles of shrimps, octopus, and mahi crudo. You get that really old school South American feel when you're out here. The restaurant's in here, the music, and right outside is the freeway. Before I'm digging into this, I just want to say a big cheers. This thing is so massive, and I smell the seafood. And they have a twist towards the food. This tower of fresh seafoods look even more insane than the cocktail. It's called La, la Torre. It means the tower. So it's like a seafood tower. They also have other popular eats, like the steak quesadillas and tostadas. I'm going to start this drink with the oyster, the most expensive item on this drink. This oyster looks like it's alive, and I'm a little bit scared to, to eat it. It is extremely fresh. So distinctful of that oyster taste and a kick of spices in the end because they did put spices in this drink. I think I have to eat a bit of onions and tomatoes, cucumbers and avocado first. I'm gonna work my way down to the seafood. Oh my god, there's so much seafood. I don't think I can finish this alone. Even though it's a mixture of cooked and raw seafood. I feel like I'm eating it so fresh and so raw. It tastes so good on their homemade nachos. It's unique. It's all blended so well together. It definitely gives you that kick of spices and a kick of lime taste and definitely a kick of seafood. If you want to treat yourself with a really special seafood experience, try this. I've been to Mexico before and we've eaten at Poke on the Run and Key House Kitchen, but I don't think it's as authentic when it comes to Mexican food like this. 
I can't wait to dive in. Wow, look at all the poke right here. You know, I'm just gonna have it pure just like this because I already know what the chips taste like. Look at that. It took me right back to Chichen Itza, the Yucatan Peninsula, back in Cancun, because this is the Mexican food I had when I was there. And you can really taste that Mexican lime-like flavor. Some of the really best food I've had right here from Mexico, but it's not in Mexico. It's right here near Pearl Ridge Mall on Oahu. And we'll see you guys in the next place. Now we are here at the Kapi'olani Seafood Restaurant. Known for their dim sum, they have some amazing seafood too. This is my third time here, and it ain't gonna be my last. But instead of me telling you, why don't I show you? So let's go. Oh, and before we go, that is actually the sun. That's just not my aura that's popping from the top of my head, okay? It's actually the sun. Anyhow, let's go in. It is busy in here. Wow. And I don't think anyone's speaking any English, so you know the place is good. Oh, wow. thank you. Thank you thank so much. You. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> they have a baby friend in front of us. <laughs> she always has, gives us these cute reactions. Then when we put the filter to her, she's like, but. <laughs> but she keeps smiling though when she's not on camera. So she she is a sweetheart, and we are in good company today. Is this kind of similar to the food for Hong Kong? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, cool, cool. And sorry, what was your name again? Ming Lao. Ming Lao, and this is Ming Lao. Thank you. When you go to a dim sum place, you always start with a cup of tea. Oh. The dim sum is famous in here. This is probably the best place for dim sum. So we're here. It's good. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm glad. I'm glad. These guys are eating stuff that's off the menu. I know. Today we're having one dish off the menu: the steamed fish. Earlier, when we came in here, the staff took really good care of us. The food was so special. We knew we had to come back here again. The first time we had steamed garlic shrimp and it was so crazy looking. They had a lot of garlic on them. It was drenched with sauce and then they had some glass noodles too. If you love garlic and you love shrimp, you would love this. But you also had some honey garlic shrimp, right? The honey walnut shrimp is a must try. I mean, I had a lot of seafood and that one really stood out because it was like big chunks of shrimp. On top of that, it was juicy and I remember the batter was so fried and it was like, it, it was swimming in condensed milk. So special. But I was also excited to eat some of the beef chow fun that we had the last time. The beef chow fun was some of the best I've ever had. And finally, the sweet and sour pork is freaking amazing. Just to go back to that sweet and sour pork, if you look at my shirt, it does say that I'm salty. I am a salty eater and I usually don't like anything sweet, but that sweet and sour pork was just so deliciously sour. Speaking of that awesome, amazing shirt that you're wearing, where do you get it from? Finally, our merchandise is out. And we've had many shirts, but this is the main one. Ugh. Right. Enjoy it, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Ming Lao over here, that was from Hong Kong. He is 95 years old. That's the awesome thing about vlogging. You get to meet great people, you get to meet generations, and hey, it's not just about the food, it's about the people too. What an honor to meet him today. I had no idea he was 95. Yeah, I thought he was like 75 or something. Yeah, so. I had Ooh. no idea. <laughs> Chinese or what? Ooh. Now, let's start with some unique dim sum dishes that we haven't tried before. That looks like a special Easter egg that if I put it in my backyard, I would think that there's a $50 bill in it. And this is very interesting looking on the outside. And I want to see what's on the inside. And we're going to show it to you guys firsthand, okay? Ready? 
Oh, and all that steam came across too. Let's eat. This is really, that really was, good. That, that was really, really special. I knew that this is something that I've never, ever had before. And I say that in a good way. That tasted like a custard-like dessert put in a monopole form. This is a definite must. Next up, we tried the special pan-fried shredded taro cake. This is not an actual cake. It's not a sweet cake. Don't, <laughs> don't expect a sweet cake. It, it's That's what I was expecting. It's a compacted taro cake with meat, shrimp, it's different, it's fun, and it's worth getting when you're here. Because I don't think other places serve this. No. Not that I'm aware of. So yeah, want to try something new? Definitely try this. We have made it to the Half Duck with Bao. Actually, they're quite famous for their health duck too. And our waiter put the duck skin in the bao. You have the sweet taste from the hoisin sauce. Then you have the tamarind sauce that makes it sour. Let's eat up. This is already good with the skin in itself. And that is the small skin part, but look at this skin. That's bro. what I was thinking. I wanted to put that this mouth. It was crunchy, really tasty. It just makes me want to put more of the duck in here, along with the skin in this soft bowl. It tastes just really good with the bowl. Their bun is so soft in here. I don't know how they make their bun so soft but I guess it's the reason why their dim sum is famous too. Another popular seafood dish here is oysters with black beans. Six huge pieces for only $22.50. The oysters are so big, way bigger than I thought, and it's really good for the price too. And that's one thing I gotta say about this place. They're very, very reasonable with the pricing. And I never had oyster before with black beans. Oh wow, let's have the first oyster together. Oh man. This is the reason why I love life. Ooh. And look how big this is. And I just had a bit of the juice from the oyster. Oh man, that is so good. But this is the star right here. I'm gonna try to eat this all in one bite. It's so delicious. It's perfectly cooked. What a texture too. I mean, it's amazing. You get all that juice coming from the oyster and then it's stretched with their seasoning and the black beans and the oyster is massive and it tastes so fresh. Oh, wow. So excited right now because the fish just came out and it is steaming hot and it smells so good. Their fish is off menu, but you can always ask for the fish. It's $25 per pound. This is two pounds. They gutted the fish for us. They took out they, the bone for us. They took out the bone over here. You can ask them to take out the bone for you. They maliciously uh, cut off the head area. I feel no remorse because this looks that good. <laughs> <laughs> and look at all the fish meat inside. There is a lot of meat and I want to eat this right now. That was soft, sliced right through my teeth and that sauce just puts that much flavor into fish. I mean, look at the texture of this fish and the side is so soft, moist. Watch out for the bones. Yeah, and watch out for the bones. <laughs> I got some of the bones too. I'm a little scared of the head. Oh, I don't have it looking right at me. Oh, look at the teeth. All right, guys, we're gonna finish this up and we'll see you guys in the next place. We are here at the Masa and Joyce Akazuya, right here in my hometown of Kanyohe. They serve ready-made Japanese dishes well, rice in particular, because Akazu refers to a side dish, usually of rice, and Yao refers to an establishment. How do I know that? Because I just looked it up on Wikipedia before I started vlogging. They've been serving the community for almost 40 years, and let's check what they have. I've heard a lot of good things about this place. It's very simple, right to the point, really known for their rolls, known for their Hawaiian and poke too, but I have no clue what the coffee jello latte is, and that's what I'm excited for. Take one pound, whatever you like to buy. 
$8 for one stick of dried aku, but you know what? That's a lot of protein, that's some good food, and we're doing this Hawaiian style. They have Japanese and Hawaiian style foods here, so that's a good combination, and I'm excited to show you guys this food. Oh wow, and they have a lot of musubis. They have garlic chicken katsu musubi. Yeah, garlic that's a kumbu. Why not? It's I'm gonna give me a garlic chicken. Hurt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, you know what it, yeah, yeah, it doesn't really hurt my wallet because it only yeah, costs yeah. $2.95. Okay. So. Okay, I'm not gonna watch you guys buy some more. Okay, that's it. Poi mochi, buddy. One left. Poi mochi. My friend, Auntie Paula, she's a good salesperson because I was only here for a little bit of things, <laughs> then I ended up buying a bunch. So, Paula, you're awesome. Yeah, you do. Yeah, okay. I am excited. We're gonna try all this at my favorite place in the entire world, and that is the whole Malia Botanical Gardens. It's only right down the street. Let's go. Before we eat our food, I had to stop and check this vehicle out. Take a look. The booty patrol. This looks like a real police vehicle too. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool. Okay, I had to show you guys that. Okay, now let's go eat the food. You gotta pretend that the camera's not there and just walk as natural as possible like this. Then you gotta do this like moment where you see the mountains and you stop and be like. Let's eat. Oh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can we? Yeah. What's your, what's your name? Thank you. My name is Chepin Kim. Hello. We watched his video over and over and over again. And finally, we met him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. We'd love to end the video here and try some of these foods. Oh, but before we try the foods, we gotta have this coffee gelato drink. Only $2.50, which is not bad. That gelato tastes exactly like pure coffee, but in a mushy form. And the milk just complements it. Is it worth $2.50? It's a definite yes, and it's worth trying. And you see it's quite windy today, so... Ooh. Oh, ah, so windy. It's a windy day today, so bear with us. We recently upgraded our mics that cost us $1,100. <coughs> because we want to bring you the best content possible. We want to tell our supporters thank you, and we appreciate you guys watching. Right here, your famous spicy ahi roll. Coming at 475, they have the cucumber inside, the ahi, and let's taste the spices. Everything inside is fresh. They didn't hold back on the ahi, and they have a good touch of spice too towards it. And now we have the California roll. with imitation crab inside and avocado, and we can't wait to dive in. Mm. This is my favorite one. Oh my, where do I start? It's fresh, the imitation crab tastes really good. The avocado blends perfectly with it. Over here, you get more quality, more freshness. And it's a good size. Our friend, Auntie Paula, who's a great salesperson, she got me to buy this garlic chicken katsu roll. For $2.95, I'm buying this. Let's see how this holds up. Mm. It's good, nothing really stands out. Well, at the same time, it's kind of hard to go from the California roll to this. Is it worth the $2.95? Yes. This is some high quality dried aku right here. It's really saturated into its purest form and we can't wait to try. Mm. All the dried aku is gonna go right here. Mm. Whoa, mm. I did not expect that. It is so soft. Less fishy than I thought. Very delicious and surprising. And high in protein and something I would add to my weightlifting regimen. I almost want this just for myself. And the next item is pipi kaula. Pipi kaula is a Hawaiian dish. It's pan-fried beef. A lot of people relate it to beef jerky feel, 
and it looks that way, but let's see if it tastes that way. This tastes like a thick piece of roast beef. Is it worth trying when you come to Hawaii? Yes. Would I recommend you to get it every day? Even if you had the money? Probably not. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next dish, and that's the poi mochi. Four pieces for $3, you do the math, it's 75 cents a piece, and it looks like it's worth it, but let's see if it tastes like it's worth it. Mm. The poi mochi is really good, but it would even be that much gooder if it came just out of the fryer. The poi mochi is soft inside, it's tasty with a little bit of sugar, and the outside crust is just crispy. I can see why a lot of the locals keep coming there, because they have so much variety. The staff was friendly, the prices were fair, and see you guys. Nope, we're ending the video right here. While I'm enjoying this view of the Koalao Mountains, I want to give you a big mahalo for watching this entire seafood tour. If there's any places we missed, please let us know in the comment section down below. Let us also know what place that you're really curious about trying, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Aloha. Ah, come on. Good. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry. You gotta stretch out and everything before you vlog, so everything just falls into sync. I'm ready. <laughs>